video conferencing was thought of as a luxury. Now it's kind of like a standard, right? Zoom is an American communications technology company. The company was founded on April 21st, 2011 by Eric Yuan. As of 2020, the company had 2,532 employees. And to this very day, the company is still alive and healthy. How did it become so popular? Well, let's find out. Early years. Zoom was founded by Eric Yuan, a former corporate vice president for Cisco WebEx. He left Cisco in April 2011 with 40 engineers to start a new company, originally named SASB Incorporated. The company had trouble finding investors because many people thought the video telephony market was already saturated. In June 2011, the company raised $3 million of seed money from WebEx founder Subra Ira, former Cisco Cisco SVP and general counsel Dan Scheinman and venture capitalist Mac Oko, logo of TSVC and Bill Tai. In May 2012, the company changed its name to Zoom. In 2012, Zoom launched a beta version that could host conferences with up to 15 video participants. In November 2012, the company signed Stanford University as its first customer. In January 2013, the company raised a $6 million Series A round from Qualcomm Ventures, Yahoo! founder Jerry Yang, WebEx founder Subra Ira, and former Cisco SVP and general counselor and general counsel Dan Scheinman. Additionally, Zoom launched version 1.0 of the program with an increase in the number of participants per conference to 25. By the end of its first month, Zoom had 400,000 users, and by May 2013, it had 1 million users. Growth. In July 2013, Zoom established partnerships with B2B, collaboration software providers such as Redboost, then Teambox, and also created a program named Works with Zoom, which established partnership with Logitech, Vadio, and InFocus. In September 2013, the company raised $6.5 million in a Series B round of, with, with, a, with a Series B round from Facebook, Waze, and, ex, and existing investors. At the time, it had 3 million users. By June 2014, Zoom had 10 million users. On February 4th, 2015, the company received 30 million US dollars in Series in Series C funding from investors including Emergence Capital, Horizon Venture, La Kaching, Qualcomm Ventures, Jerry Yang, and Patrick, and Patrick Soon Shyong. At that time, Zoom had 40 million users with 65,000 users with 65,000 organizations subscribed and a total of 1 billion meeting minutes since it was established. In 2015 and 2016, the company integrated its software with Slack, Salesforce, and Skype for business. With version 2.5 in October 2015, Zoom increased the number of participants per conference to 50 and later to 1,000 for business customers. In November 2015, former president of RingCentral David Berman was named president of the company and Peter Gassner, the founder and CEO of Viva Systems, joined Zoom's board of directors. The company raised 100 million US dollars in Series D funding from Sequilo Capital in January 2017 at, at, a, one, at a 1 billion US dollar val valuation, making it a so-called unicorn. In April 2017, Zoom launched a scalable telehealth product allowing doctors to host remote consultants with patients. In May, Zoom announced integration with Polycom's conference systems, enabling features such as multiple screen and device meetings, HD and wireless screen sharing, and calendar integration with Microsoft, Outlook, Google Calendar, and iCal. From September 25th, 
to 27, 2017, Zoom hosted Zoomtopia 2017, Zoom's first annual user conference in which it announced a partnership with Meta to integrate Zoom with augmented reality, integration with Slack and Workplace by Facebook, and first steps towards an artificial intelligence speech rec recognition program, IPO and onward. On April 18th, 2019, the company became public became a public company via an in, uh, via an initial public offering after pricing at 36 US dollars per share the share price increased over 72% on the first day of trading the company was valued at e, at 16 US 16 billion US dollars by the end of its first day of trading Prior to the IPO drop box, invested by invested five million dollars in Zoom during the during the COVID nineteen pandemic. Zoom saw a major increase in usage for remote work, distance education, and online social relations. Thousands of educational institutions switched to online classes using Zoom. The company offered its services to. K-12 schools, free of charge in many countries. By February 2020, Zoom, ga Zoom had gained 2.22 million users in 2020, more users than it amassed in the eternity of 2019. On one day in March 2020, the Zoom app was downloaded 2.13 million times. And let me tell you, I was actually one of those people because I use Zoom for school. Daily average users rose from about 10 million in, in December 2019 to about 200 million in March 2020, with 300 million daily meeting participants in the end of April 2020. This led to a significant increase in the company's stock price in early 2020, despite a general stock market downturn. It went from under $70 per share in January 2020 to $150 per share by the end of March, giving the company a market value of $42 billion. And there's the history of Zoom. How did it become so popular? Well, I would have to say that it would have to do with the fact with a lot of schools around the world using Zoom to continue their education. Because um, basically, there's a lot of people who can't go to school right now because of the virus that's going on. And a lot of schools are using Zoom so students can get an education while, while being at home. Anyways, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys happen to enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!